Whenever we talk about cultural appropriation, a lot of people seem to misunderstand the real definition of cultural appropriation. They seem to think cultural appropriation is when you use something that another culture or race invented, and usually a certain group of people automatically respond with, well, then you can't use the internet or the computer since we created it. Firstly, that's not what cultural appropriation is. To break it down in its simplest form, Cultural appropriation is when you take something created or invented by a group of people, change the name of it, and claim that you invented or created it first, kind of like plagiarism or intellectual property theft. I have an entire video about this, which will go into lots of details and is easy for anyone to understand. You might even realize that certain things that you thought fell under cultural appropriation actually don't. So that link will be in the description. Don't forget to check it out. Anyway, back to the computer and the internet. What if I told you that these things were actually invented by black people? Yes. What if the very thing you're using to watch this video on, whether it be a phone or a computer, was created by a black person? Racist people can now throw away their phones, computers, and stop using the internet. But wait, what if there's more things that were created by black people? Ooh. You better get your trash can ready and start throwing away a whole bunch of stuff. Because believe it or not, the majority of things we use today were in fact created by black men and women. But I don't think you'd be able to survive not using black inventions. Firstly, let's start with the computer. Dr. Mark Dean is the architect of the modern day PC. He was instrumental in the invention of the PC. He helped IBM make breakthroughs in technology. Millions of jobs in information technology can be traced directly back to him. So, what about cell phones? Well, Henry T. Sampson was a pioneer in the technology used in cell phones. He also invented a gamma electric cell. He holds the patents related to solid rocket motors and conversion of nuclear energy into electricity. And Jesse Lee Russell was the inventor of digital cell phone technology and the engineer responsible for this multi-billion dollar industry. So without these black men, you wouldn't have a phone or a computer to use. But what about the internet? I mean, after all, how would you guys be able to hide behind the internet and troll? Hmm. Meet Dr. Philip M. Aguali, aka the Bill Gates of Africa. He was born in Nigeria in 1954. And in 1989, Dr. Emma Gwali used 65,000 processors to invent the world's fastest computer, which performs computations at 3.1 billion calculations per second. His work allowed a large number of computers to communicate at once. So without him, there would be no internet. The internet would not be what it is today. His computers are currently being used to forecast the weather and to predict the likelihood and effects of future global warming. These three things are things that most people today could not live without. Benjamin Banneker, in the 1750s, invented America's first clock. But that's not all he invented. When he was 15 years old, he invented an irrigation system to control water flow to crops from nearby springs. Jerry Lawson invented the first video games console and cartridges. His work gave life to Nintendo, Atari, Sega, PlayStation, and the Xbox. You name it, it was all because of him. So all you gamers have Jerry Lawson to thank. James Fortin invented a device for the improved handling of sails on large ships. James Edward Maceo West invented the Electret microphone. Alexa even uses James West's microphone as her hardware. So pretty much most YouTubers and singers and any artists that use a microphone have James Edward Maceo West to thank. Madam C.J. Walker invented a line of African hair products in 1905 and was the first American woman to become a self-made millionaire. Walter Sammons invented the hot comb. Lida Newman received a patent for an improved version of the hairbrush. Charles Oren Bailiff invented the shampoo headrest in the year 1890. Anybody like going to watch 3D movies? Well, without Kenneth J. Dunkley, you wouldn't be able to see it. Because Kenneth J. Dunkley invented the 3D glasses. John Henry Thompson invented Lingo Program, a scripting language that helps render visuals in computer programs. Lingo is now used with many programs that have interactive simulations with graphics, animation, sound, and video. 
Along with Macro Media Director, Thompson has helped develop Media Maker, Actions, Video Works Accelerator, and Video Works 2. Lingo has also been used to create Flash and Shockwave programs that now are prevalent in video games, web design, animation, and graphics. In 1897, Andrew Beard received a patent for a device he called the Jenny Coupler. The Jenny Coupler automatically joined cars by simply allowing them to bump into each other. Or as Beard described it, the horizontal jaws engage each other to connect the cars. This African-American inventor sold the rights to his design for $50,000 and revolutionized the railroad industry. Meet Bessie Blount Griffin, a physical therapist, inventor, and forensic scientist who invented an electronic feeding device in 1951 to help amputees feed themselves. Dr. Donald Cotton invented a capillary liquid fuel nuclear reactor and developed a procedure to measure how solid propellants are burned. Omelets, anyone? Willis Johnson invented the egg beater, and William Purvis invented the improved fountain pen. Most people, when they think of peanut butter, they think of George Washington Carver. However, Mr. Carver actually didn't invent peanut butter. Instead, he discovered over 300 uses for peanuts. But he did invent peanut punch, antiseptic soap, baby massage cream, tan remover, face lotion, facial powder, hand lotion, shaving cream, dandruff cure, 17 different wood stains, 19 different dyes for leather, 30 different dyes for cloth, chili sauce, dry coffee, vinegar, iron tonic, laxatives, axle grease, diesel fuel, gasoline made from peanuts, glue, insecticides, linoleum, lubricating oil, nitroglycerin, printer's ink, plastic and rubber substitutes, laundry soap, and so much more. Who'd have thought you could do all of that with peanuts? Kind of sucks for people with allergies, though, I guess. Thomas L. Jennings received a patent for a dry cleaning process called dry scouring. Thomas L. Jennings' dry scouring technique created a modern-day dry cleaning. But did you know the first clothes dryer was invented by George T. Sampson, which then led to the first tumble dryer, which was invented by J. Ross Moore? Now, if we're talking clothes, then you need an ironing board. That was invented by Sarah Boone. Ice cream, anyone? Augustus Jackson invented several ice cream recipes and invented an improved method of manufacturing ice cream, while Alfred L. Crail invented the ice cream scoop. Born on June 15, 1868, John Standard revolutionized the modern kitchen and was granted intellectual property rights to two patents throughout his lifetime for the refrigerator and a patent improvement to the oil stove. But who invented the stove? That was T.A. Carrington. Now, speaking of refrigerators, Frederick Jones is famous for inventing an automatic refrigeration system in trucks. In addition to that refrigerator invention, Jones also invented the first air conditioning unit for a military field hospital, a refrigerator for military field kitchens, a self-starting gas engine, a series of devices for movie projectors and box office equipment that gave tickets and made change. Now, during the wintertime, everyone likes to turn the heating on, right? And we have Alice H. Parker to thank. She was an African-American inventor known for her contribution to the heating furnace. She invented a furnace that supplied central heating for entire homes and buildings. Not just one particular room, but the entire building. Guess who invented the super soaker? Yep, you guessed it. A black man, Lonnie Johnson. Jan Matzleger invented the automatic shoe-lasting machine which completely changed the shoe industry. Instead of taking hours and hours just to make one pair of shoes, Jan's shoe-lasting machine was able to crank multiple shoes out at crazy speed. The phrase the real McCoy was given to Elijah McCoy. He's best known for his work inventing and developing lubrication devices that made trains and railroad operations a lot more efficient. George Franklin Grant was the first black professor at Harvard. He was also a Boston dentist and an inventor of the golf tee. Granville T. Woods, the inventor of the improved telephone transmitter. The patent for his device, which combined the telephone and telegraph, was bought by Alexander Graham Bell. One of his most important inventions was the troller. No, not that kind of troller. A grooved metal wheel that allowed streetcars, later known as trolleys or trams, to collect electric power from overhead wires. 
He also invented an electric roller coaster called the figure eight. Thomas Edison tried to sue Granville Woods, claiming that he was the first inventor of the multiplex telegraph. Granville Woods eventually won. And when Thomas Edison lost, he offered Granville Woods a prominent position in the engineering department of Edison Electric Light Company in New York City. Granville T. Woods looked at Thomas Edison and said, no. Nah. Now, if I say who invented a light bulb, most people would jump up and down and say Thomas Edison. But Thomas Edison's light bulb would not work without the filament. You know and I know that when you turn a light switch off and you hear that little ping and the light doesn't go on, that's because the filament broke. So the filament is an integral part of the light bulb. Without it, you have no light, which was invented by Lewis Latimer. Paul L. Downing patented his mailbox on October 27th, 1891, and called his invention a street letterbox. One year prior to inventing the mailbox, Downing patented an electric switch that allowed railroad workers to turn on or off the power supply to trains at the necessary times. Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, a theoretical physicist and famous black inventor, has been credited with making many advances in science. While working at Bell Laboratories, Dr. Jackson conducted breakthrough scientific research that enabled her team to invent the portable fax, touch-tone telephone, solar cells, fiber optic cables, and the technology behind caller ID and call waiting. Now remember I mentioned fiber optic cables. So for those of you using the internet right now and have fiber optic broadband, you have Dr. Shelley Ann Jackson to thank. George Crumb invented the potato chips. Alexander P. Ashbourne invented the biscuit cutter, John Thomas White invented the lemon squeezer, and Sarah E. Good invented the folding bed. Now meet Garrett Morgan, the inventor of the gas mask and the traffic light. Richard Spikes invented the automatic gear shift, and in 1839, Edmund Berger invented the spark plug. Joseph Gamble invented the supercharged system for the internal combustion engine. Thomas J. Martin was given a patent for the improved fire extinguisher in 1872, while Percy Julian also invented a fire extinguishing foam for gasoline and oil fires. Ellen Elgin invented a special type of clothes wringer, which was a machine that had two rollers in a frame that was connected to a crank. Clothes would be fed in between the two rollers, and as the crank was turned, the clothes would have the water pressed out of them. Sadly, she sold the device for $18 to a large company fearing that it would lose value if people knew that a black woman invented it. In 1899, John Burr perfected and invented the improved rotary blade lawnmower. Walter Wiley Jones started the first streetcar line, but the first black car manufacturing company was owned by Frederick D. Patterson. Frederick D. Patterson built cars way before Henry T. Ford. It's also noted that Frederick D. Patterson's cars were built to a much higher standard than Ford. So what about diamonds? Now, of course, no one can invent a mineral or stone that is made naturally on Earth, right? But what about zirconias? Yes, the fake diamonds. The transparent composition and process to make cubic zirconias was invented by Jonathan Smith. On November 11th, 1969, George Caruthers was awarded a patent for his image converter for detecting electromagnetic radiation. During a 1970 rocket flight, George Caruthers' UV telescope or spectrograph and image converter provided the first proof of the existence of molecular hydrogen in interstellar space. Caruthers' invention was used on April 21, 1972, during the first lunar walk of the Apollo 16 mission. For the first time, scientists were able to examine the Earth's atmosphere for concentrations of pollutants and see UV images of more than 550 stars, nebulae, and galaxies. George Caruthers was awarded NASA's Exceptional Scientific Achievement Medal for his work on the project. Robert T. Allen is responsible for the vertical coin counting tube. Now, did you know that rock and roll was invented by a black person? The first rock and roll artists were black. It was created by a woman called Sister Rosetta Tharp. Rock and roll was actually slang for having sex. Now, speaking of rock and roll, Robert F. Fleming Jr. invented the electric guitar. But when you think of music, jazz, even country music and folk music were all created first by black people. So next time someone tells you you're acting white because you're listening to rock and roll or even punk rock, you can turn around to them and say, well, actually, this is a black art form.
And Thomas Elkins invented the improved chamber commode, a.k.a. a toilet. So think about that the next time you're sitting on the john. Ozzie Williams developed the first airborne radar beacon. This was useful for locating crashed aircrafts. Williams rockets are credited with saving the lives of the Apollo 13 astronauts. Tessima Dosho Schifferall invented the Bowflex exercise machine. And speaking of exercise, Kevin Woolfolk sat around and thought, hey, these hamsters are getting a little too chubby, and decided to invent the hamster workout wheel. Henry Blair invented the corn planter. Leonard C. Bailey also received the patent for the folding bed on July 18th, 1899. He also invented a rapid mail stamping machine, a device to shunt trains to different tracks, and a hernia truss adopted into wide use by the U.S. military. Now, did you ever think of what it might be like if your television could project the on-screen image directly into your living room as a three-dimensional image? You know, something that looks absolutely real right there in front of you that you could almost grab and touch. I don't mean like a hologram, but it's something even more real. Probably not, right? But if it happens, you'll have African-American inventor Valerie Thomas to thank for it. From 1964 to 1995, Thomas worked in a variety of capacities for NASA, where she developed real-time computer data systems, conducted large-scale experiments, and managed various operations, projects, and facilities. While managing a project for NASA's image processing systems, Valerie Thomas spearheaded the development of Landsat, the first satellite to send images from space. In 1976, Thomas learned how concave mirrors can be set up to create the illusion of a three-dimensional object. She believed this would be revolutionary if technology could be harnessed to transmit this illusion. With an eye to the future, Valerie Thomas began experimenting on an illusion transmitter in 1977. In 1980, she patented it. In operation, concave mirrors are set up on both ends of the transmission. The net effect of this is an optical illusion of a three-dimensional image that looks real on the receiving end. This brilliant innovation placed Thomas among the most prominent black inventors of the 20th century. NASA continues to use her technology and is exploring ways to use it in surgical tools and possibly television and video. Rumor has it that this technology is very close to being unveiled. Just imagine watching your favorite YouTuber in your living room, actually standing there in front of you, talking to you as if they were a real-life person actually sitting in your living room. Marie Van Britten Brown and her husband, Albert, created an early closed-circuit television system to be used for home monitoring. That security system was the forerunner of all advanced home security technology in use today. One of Otis Boykin's most famous inventions was a control unit for the artificial cardiac pacemaker. Dr. Charles Drew was instrumental in developing blood plasma processing, storage, and transfusion therapy. His groundbreaking work in the large-scale production of human plasma was eventually used by the U.S. Army and the American Red Cross as the basis for blood banks. So blood banks and blood transfusion, all down to Dr. Charles Drew. Dr. Patricia Bath is the first black doctor to receive a patent for a medical invention. Patricia Bath's method for removing cataract lenses transformed eye surgery using a laser device known as the laser phaco probe, making the procedure more accurate. George Alcorn invented the imaging x-ray spectrometer, a device that helps scientists better understand what materials are composed of when they can't be broken down. The invention led to Alcorn's reception of the NASA Inventor of the Year Award. Dr. Betty Wright Harris invented a test that detects explosives called the sensitive spot test. Jane Cook Wright was a pioneer in cancer research and surgeon noted for her contributions to chemotherapy. In 1893, the first successful open heart surgery was performed by a black surgeon, Dr. Daniel Hale Williams. Thomas A. Carrington invented the stethoscope. John Lee Love invented the portable pencil sharpener, Thomas Stewart invented the mop, and Lloyd Ray invented the dustpan. David Unipon was an indigenous Australian of the Nugurin Jerry people. He invented an improved mechanical sheep sharing hand tool, which completely revolutionized the wool industry. He also conceptualized and designed the helicopter 22 years before it became a reality. They refer to him as the Australian Leonardo da Vinci. 
Norbert Rillo was the inventor of the multiple effect vacuum evaporator, which revolutionized the processing of sugar. He gained recognition as one of the prime architects of the modern sugar industry. Samuel R. Scotron invented the curtain rod. The first documentation of the invention of a doorknob was in 1878. The U.S. Patent Office gave a patent for a door closing device by an African American inventor named Osborne Dorsey, who also invented the doorstop. In the late 1800s, Albert C. Richardson invented the insect destroyer gun. The gun was used in crop fields to keep insects away from valuable commodities. How it worked isn't well known, but it seemed to be effective. William H. Richardson invented the reversible baby carriage. Going down? I'm going down. Well, whether you're going up or down, Alexander Miles invented the electric elevator. And there are so many more inventions that we don't know about because of the laws at the time and also white people stealing their ideas and taking credit for them was a very common thing. But if you're interested in finding out more, Keith C. Holmes has a book called Black Inventors, which documents over 20,000 plus inventions by black people. So the next time someone says black people never invented anything or they tell you to stop using computers or the Internet because it was invented by white people. You can correct them. Actually, they were invented by black people. And many of the things we use today were also improved by black people. Even deeper than that is they would not exist today if it wasn't for the greatest creation ever known, life. All life was created in Africa and all leads back to one African woman. I'll put a link to that video on how white people were created. And I'll also put a link to a video that focuses on inventions made primarily by black women. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new, never-before-seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a Black-owned, Black-ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.